Hey guys, welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! video. Today, I'm going to be talking about my new build for Spirals. And this deck is crazy. And the reason I say this is because, simply put, the combos I'm able to pull off in this deck now is insane. So far, I've only played it in real life. I haven't played it online. So, my bad shuffling might account for why this is good. But, I try and shuffle really well. And yeah, I even had Koi cut uh, just to see and everything. So yeah, uh, basically the new additions to this is uh, the little Violon Cube Synchro thing. I, I don't know what it's called, but I guess Norden Cube, I guess. Uh, that's what I'll call it, but... Basically what this does is, if you aren't familiar with Violon Cube, it is, uh, if this card is sent to the graveyard for the Synchro Summon of a Light Monster, you can add uh, one equipped spell card from your deck to your hand. And I'm sorry about my earlier video about this guy. I misread him and thought it was just for any Synchro Summon. So do keep in mind that it has to be a Light Monster. And him in combination with Norden, and refusion becomes very crazy very quickly especially with this deck it can because what I like to do is special super agent with his own effect and then normal cube synchro and then just go from there with Norden and everything basically uh, the things that I do with this deck is uh, for one I like to summon double lightning warrior and if you guys don't know what he does, it's if he destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, you get to inflict 300 to your opponent for each card in their hand, which can be a very, very good late game thing. And I summon two of them and then use them to either overlay into Red Eyes Flare Metal or number 11 Big Eye, counting on the situation. And I'll also go into Black Rose Moonlight and if... The situation pops up. I may go into Cyframe Lord Zeta. I don't know about actually running him. I'm thinking about running a different rank four or maybe actually running Ancient Fairy Dragon. But as of right now, he is uh, one guy in here. He's just one that I don't really summon often. And also, this makes it much, much easier to summon Bahama Shark. And if you've seen my earlier builds of Spiral Stun, you may notice that I took out Lose one turn. The reason for that is because it really hurts this little engine that I put in. So instead of Lose one turn, I put in Barrier Statue of the Torrent. And he works really well with Norden because I can use him to make Bahama Shark and then go into Tree Toad. And yeah. I also can use Ice Hand, which I can get straight from Fire Hand in most situations. And yeah, but first and foremost, this is a stun deck. This deck actually makes it where your opponent just hates you. So if you don't want everybody at your locals hating you or going against you when you play this deck, then yeah, you may not want to play this. And for basically the whole uh, deck oh and also uh, I did take out a drone for one Vylon cube because when I ran it with three drones original build for spiral stun that was basically well for original spirals before the invasion vengeance stuff all you had was agent Quick Fix, which I don't actually have in here because I took him out. Uh, quick Fix, Drone, and Big Red. Basically, that's all you had. And you had to work from there until we got Invasion Vengeance stuff, including Spiral Resort and... Uh, let me pull up the other ones. Master Plan, Charming Resort stuff. Oh, excuse me. And Spiral Mission Assault. And, of course one of the best cards right now for this deck, Resort. And if you guys are wondering why I don't run 
some of the other spiral cards. Uh, I'll quickly explain that. I don't run Master Plan simply because she becomes incredibly cloggy because she is a 7. I cannot summon her really easily unless I discard her for some effect. But as you can see in this deck, there's like no discard. I don't discard for anything because I like to have my hand advantage. And I don't run Twin Twisters in this deck because simply because Agent is a MST himself. And yeah. And if worse comes to worse, say they play Skill Drain, then I can just side an MST. So there really isn't anything that I can do with Master Plan. And her effect is nice though. Because she is a essential terraforming. <coughs> If she's sent from field to graveyard, but again, she's hard to get on field. And uh, Charming Resource Staff, I originally wanted to try and run her, but she became so, so, so cloggy that I could not run her even at one because it truthfully is really hard to actually get her on field with Agent or just keep her on field for in the first place because people will most of the time read the actual effect and then just oh attack resort stuff so yeah I mean she is really nice though for summoning a super agent and other such things but yeah one that people might not agree with me on this is no quick fix in this deck. The reason for this is because he became a little cloggy. When I used to run him at 3, I noticed uh, when I ran all these things at 3, I noticed that I usually would side deck out one big red, so I took it down to two big red, and then uh, quick fix became less useful, so I took him down to two, and then Later on, I found out, hey, I'm still signing out one big red, so I can take out another quick fix, and I found out, hey, there's no reason to run quick fix anymore, because, simply put, Resort does everything for me, and Bylon Cube can search this if I want it. So, I don't even need quick fix in this deck anymore. I used to run Utopic Roots because quick fix and drone, but... Seeing that my only level 1s now are 2 drones, it's not going to happen. I tried running Spiral Mission Assault before. This was uh, last week. And what occurred was when I did draw into it, it was a little useful getting that one draw. But it didn't really do much. I mean, the special summon effect, I love that. But the draw effect... It doesn't really do much because, again, I play a stun deck. I don't play too fast of a deck. I just want to slow down the game to a point where you can't do much. And the reason I run Big Red is because you basically always sided. I basically always sided uh, it out or something else because I would usually dead draw it. Now with it out one in this deck it works a lot better for me because I usually don't dead draw it and if I want it I can just search it with cube and yeah and of course I don't play upstart goblin here and yeah and also uh, you guys might wonder why I run foolish it's to send cube for Norden effect if uh, I don't have agent and cube in hand I can just send him and then Norden him back and go off or I can foolish burial one of my waters and then nord in it and then go into bomb shark and then uh, tree toad or totally awesome <laughs> it's a totally awesome play mates so yeah and you might wonder why I don't run Carta demise that's because I'm a cheap bastard and don't want to try and buy three of those so I kind of run decks that don't really need it and for this deck, it doesn't really need it. 
because when you slow down the game enough, car admise just wouldn't do much in the sense of getting three cards that possibly could be three monsters or three dead cards, but say it'll be, I, that's all I have to say about it. So, but I do run two pod duality. It is fairly cheap. I think last time I checked it didn't go up. And for those of you who say, but what about totally awesome? He's totally not cheap. And the thing is, I actually do have him. I have shown him on camera before. It's because I pulled him from a Invasion Vengeance box uh, for the Utopia lineup. Uh, I actually am borrowing these from a friend. Uh, Big Eye and Red Ice Flare Metal. Those guys, simply put, I, uh, I actually don't remember where I got the flare metal. Eh, whatever. Basically, uh, I just used the, but I do remember I got my big eye from my uh, older brother who used to play Yo, and he just gave it to me because now I play it and he doesn't anymore. And for Norton, yes, you're going to have to pay like $3 for it. Instant Fusion on the other hand, that's the expensive one, even for a common. Refusion is a little pricey, too. Jar of Avarice, I don't think is up there. And the Solemns, I got them before they went back up in price. So, yeah. Actually, I pulled one from Bosch, and I traded, like, for the locals I used to go to, but they decided to stop doing tournaments they uh, when you win the tournament you get like these little prize cards or if you trade cards in or something you could get a trade card which is basically cash in a sense that you can only use there so I traded a $26 uh, trade card for this and at the time it was twenty dollars but since you can only use it at the store adding six dollars on really didn't matter it was kind of more fair in that way if you don't know what uh, memory loss is it is a very useful card it's non-targeting and it negates and changes to defense position the thing is with this this hurts monarchs quite a bit and I love it because then I can simply just normal lay fire hand ice hand something and then attack over it. Magic Cylinder, uh, I haven't ran this in a long time, but it is a very, very useful card in lots of situations. I'm thinking about getting more for my side deck in case I run into stuff like Blue Eyes and Monarchs. So yeah, well, I don't know about Monarchs because this card kinda is stopped by March. Uh, Bottomless Trap Hole, self-explanatory, it's basically another way to get monsters off the field. I run Storm and Mirror Force over Quaking Mirror Force because I want the monsters off the damn field. I don't want them to stay on field, especially against like Blue Eyes and fucking Monarchs. I don't want them to be able to tribute. I want them off the field. And it hurts way, way bad when it happens in the right situation. So, yeah. Uh, I think that's about it for the deck and I don't have like any replays to show I haven't played this online much I've been usually playing it against AIs to see my draws online and just to see how it goes but yeah uh, that's about it so if you guys like this then don't forget to like favorite and subscribe for more from us at MGPK Studios and with that mm, bye bye